Hello lovely people, James Morrison, James Social Cycling. So I just got something in my eye. The wind is coming this way, so I'm hoping that the sound is okay. Did a video yesterday and the video, the sound was a bit dodgy, but it was too late. I've done it, so I have to put that out. So I apologize about the Shimano Jockey Wheel Service. There's a few little bits and pieces there. But today, that was yesterday's video. That'll be at the end somewhere. Today, I wanted to talk to you a bit further and fitting the Ortlieb frame pack for the top shoe. So this was kindly sent to me by, let's do that way, by Ortlieb. And um, obviously there is an unboxing. I just, uh, and a bit of a first look. Look, window up here, look, thing coming out go and check that out so it just again to be fair it was an unboxing and a babble because I didn't really know what was going on with it because I had not looked at it before but so it's got a few different change a few changes so it's actually got a roll roll so it's actually a roll top so instead of it or, or the closure system is more of a, a roll again instead of the zip in the old one and again, there's a, a review actually of uh, the 450 frame bag from Ortlieb. Another card up there, look. Um, and today I just wanted to fit it to the bike, see how easy it is. So what you get, as you can see, the closing system is a little bit different, which I'll just show you. I don't know if you can see that. So the closing system. The other good thing is is that there's for the front and the back of the bag on the top tube there are you've got a little bit of an adjustment so if you've got something in the way then you can actually move that here and then you've got the center lock so what you get with that so you get three of the orange fasteners you get three pieces of velcro and that again that again is for the seat tube, down tube and top tube. So you've got one here for the top tube or the down tube. We'll have a look at it. I'm not 100% but that's one of the reasons why you're here. To see me fit it and to see my thoughts. But you get three of the straps as well. So the strap that's on there, three of these. All right, let's go and fit it to the bike. Okay, so what I've done is that strap was already in. I put that strap on and strap on. And I've done this as well. Put this strap in the front. So, let's use the dog barking. They haven't bloody stopped today. So you've got the, the one for the seat post, just to give you a bit of a tip, to be honest, crimp it over like so and then start to push it through because it will be a lot easier less faffing about and it doesn't matter which way it turns but then just pull it and that gives you that and then setting up this baby you want you're basically going velcro down this is a bit easier when you get to this piece, what I would suggest doing, so I'm a bit close to the mic, just pinch that in as well again. And then there you go, it's just like so. Pull it through, give it a tug, job done. And then that bit goes. As I said earlier, the Velcro is very good. And there you have it. That's the way to put the straps on. And then let's go in. There's a spare Velcro. Um, just so you know, there are all of these all the way along. So you could, if you wanted to, actually it would be really good to strap something at the bottom of it if you had some room. An inner tube or something, just a guess, just, just a thought, just a thought. And just so you know, these can be cut down 
as well once you work it out. Let's go and put it on the bike and see how it goes. So this is why I like the adjustment. So here you've got It's only a bit finicky guys because I'm bloody filming alright so so as you can see this strap goes through the top and comes about around like so and that's why I like the fact that you had two if you can see that there that's exactly where the other strap on the other bag was placed right over this which was a bit of a pain so the adjustments pretty good there as well and the other thing I didn't show you which I will now which these are the the orange fasteners and basically they go in very simply like so and again I said these can be cut and actually this can go around the front or not at all needs a bit of adjustment to be honest I could probably get away with going on to the bottom there moving that to there and then going around the bottom tube the down tube and the fastening on this side as you can see it's a little bit different because the tube's a little bit smaller and it fastens like so so as you can see the old bag was grey with the orange zip now this is a matte black with the orange fasteners it is on the drive side I know I joke around that it is the pictured side but the basic other <laughs> the other deciding factor is is if you're gonna lie your bike down you don't lie it down on the drive side so if you lie the bike down and you're all kitted up then you've got access with the bike being laid on the floor and there you have access to everything just got the instructions and things in there from earlier and then to fasten back up and there you go now you have the bag They have the new Ortley bag. What do you think? I think it actually <laughs> it suits my bike fantastically. Hey, eh? 
The only problem, I'm going to be really honest with you, no, no disrespect or leave, I think you've done a fantastic thing on bike packing. But the reason why I love the other bag is because of the zip, because I can gain entry. I can actually open that bag when I'm on the fly. So uh, it means obviously when I got my camera and I'm doing some vlogging, I don't have to have it in my back pocket. I can actually put it into the bag and when I'm riding along, it it does, um, it's uh, pretty good for that. Just being able to gain access where unclipping, unclipping, unclipping these babies to get my camera out on the fly, it's not gonna be great. But it is actually a really lovely bag. It's lovely though. It suits my bike. It's mustard. Anyway, but it'd be great. It'll be great on, on if I do some bike packing stuff. So, which we're hoping to do this year, fingers crossed. If uh, life goes back to normal, the real normal. Anyway, so thanks again, Ortlieb. I really appreciate that. Niels, thank you very much for entrusting me. Hopefully this video comes out all right. Um, and uh, yeah, brilliant stuff. Thank you very much. If you found this useful, don't forget to buy me a coffee. There's a link in the description below. Also, um, if you want to, if you want to subscribe, please just tap the, the globe. And uh, here's my review again of the Ortlieb frame bag. All right, lots of love. See you on the road very soon.